Kelly Little says it was like a tornado went through her car. I mean, it's still trashed. I haven't cleaned all of it. Mother Nature's not to blame. No, it was a thief. But listen to what this ECU senior says wasn't taken. My iPod was left. My Oakleys were left. So I guess they were looking for cash, but I didn't have any. Cash was on the mind for six other break-ins on Rock Springs Road Wednesday night. And just like Little, other neighbors say their valuables were left intact. It's just weird and mostly annoying. They're probably just stupid people out doing stupid stuff. In a lot of these cases, the thieves are pretty much being invited into the cars, not because the doors are being left open, but because the cars are unlocked. If my dog had been out that evening, she'd have eaten him alive. Benji Mitten is talking about the person who broke into his Impala last Friday in the Brook Valley neighborhood. They went through this glove box and they went through this console here. Three other car break-ins were reported in the neighborhood last Friday, and tonight, police say 18-year-old Sean Ruffalo is responsible for at least two of them. What's baffling to Mitten and other neighbors is that Ruffalo <laughs> lives in Brook Valley. Certainly used very poor judgment, and uh, hopefully um, he'll learn from his experience. An experience these neighbors say, while annoying for them, could have been much worse. In Greenville, Adam Yosem, News Channel 12.